formerly of South Florida, recently relocated to Oklahoma, one of the best in the business, period, and definitely the best with his character, that yeah. Yellow Rat. An absolute force throughout various Smash games is Esam. Ending his uh, spree in Smash 4 with a top 20 finish on the overall PGR. Now, you may be the best snake in Japan, but can you go up against a guy with practice against the best snake in America from Brawl? Of course, being MVP, Ally is Canadian, for those of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, Esam, known as one of the snake killers in Brawl, right up there with uh, one of his uh, regional compatriots, Sabrick. He actually went by the tag Snake Killer 3000 for a couple tournaments <laughs> and certainly lived up to the name. But here we'll see what Esam is able to do against Shogun. Two old school players for sure, I'd say, especially Shogun. This man looks like he just came from work. <laughs> and he's still got his uh, still got his jersey underneath. Yeah. I've heard that the work culture in Japan is very brutal. Like, you know, you yeah. gotta always be clocking in, clocking out. Um, and the fact that some of these Japanese players are able to enjoy the luxury of coming to an event like Genesis is awesome in itself. Of course, it's got to be kind of stressful, right? Like mm -hmm. not being able to make as much time for Smash as you'd like, but this is one of those weekends that no matter who you are or where you're from, you're probably calling out on Friday and Monday. Yeah, come in here. That they are. Long flights here to get here as well. They definitely don't want to be going home with poor placements. Yep. At least it's the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? That's true. Don't have to fly literally around the world to come to an Apex, for example. But either way, we're going to see Pikachu and Snake, the tried and true characters for both of these guys. Esam, he's got Yoshi and Samus in his back pocket. Don't know what Shogun potentially has. I think potentially he the boss, boss yeah, from Smash 4. I think that may be a better matchup on paper, just because Pikachu can abuse Snake in the air so heavily. Fox can contend more with the speed and up-close combat. But that said, Esam did notably lose grand finals that don't park on the grass a few weeks ago, like six weeks ago, to MVD. So he's definitely fallible in this matchup, and Shogun, of course, going to bring a different flavor to the table compared to MVD. Yeah, Esam said before that he's been taking a lot of time studying the differences between this snake and, of course, the raw one, trying his best to understand just how to tackle this new snake. Right, you can't get caught up in old habits and expect it all to work. Most notably, that down air out of shield, such a real threat now that it auto cancels. He's out of frame three with only three frames of jump squat too. Yeah, very, very good out of shield option for snake in this game. And of course, combination of the Nikita and the new grenades as well. Even Pikachu off stage has to deal with that and Shogun taking the first stock. Yeah, actually, I feel like Pikachu extra has to deal with Nikita offstage, being that even though his recovery has a hitbox, it's connected to him. So it doesn't clank the Nikita out like most other recoveries do. Yeah. He has to throw out a different move uh, in order to challenge the Nikita if he wants to get around it. He's out kind of relentless in this juggle at the moment, getting the KO with up air of all moves. Yeah, I feel like that move's a bit stronger now than it has been in previous iterations. Still a strong combo tool, but also can finish the job at those super, super high percents. Oh, and that's an SD from Shogun. Unless Is he it? Oh, no. He, uh, since he had his jump, he was able to use the boosted up B, but Esam keeping this going and just a bit too low for the C4 detonation to save him. Yeah, the bottom blast zone of Smashville, I believe, being a little bit higher than normal, so unable to get the C4 detonation to bring himself back up. And now Esam, the one in control. What is jump? Sensational gameplay from Esam right there. He just found the momentum after that second stock and just rode the wave. Man, that up air to Nair drag down. And immediately he knew Shogun was going to go for the rushed up B to try to use his jump to, oh, well, no, not to use his jump because he didn't have one, but just to try to get to the edge as soon as possible. He had almost no other choice mm -hmm. and just stuffed it out with the down air. Snake, of course, too low to do anything about it after that. Yeah, that is, of course, one of the drawbacks of Snake. He does have an exploitable recovery in places. You know, he's often a character that has to recover very, very high. And I guess a character like Pikachu who does have the tools to intercept that, it can be very, very difficult for Snake to recover. Yeah, you've got Thunder, and then off stage low, you've got down air. You catch that jump with either the very active neutral air or just the sweep of the up air above you. You can really do some damage. And you have to think that as good as Shogun is, there's no way he has an experience advantage or even close to the same amount of experience in this match as Esam does on his side. Mm. Yeah, I personally am not aware of any Pikachus around the Esam's level in Japan. Of course, Japan known for its plethora of various characters, but Pikachu surprisingly isn't really one of them. Yeah, kind of slipping under the radar over in Japan. 
And I don't know if Ultimate will change that, but either way, Esam looking so good in the second game still. You're gonna see Lilac Cruz, a fairly rare choice here at Genesis so far, now that it's actually on the state list. Yeah, of course, a lot of uh, stigma coming from Smash 4. A lot of people have a negative view on this stage. But of course, stage doesn't tilt anymore. The way that kind of slopes interact with characters is a bit different. Wait, people didn't like this stage in Smash 4? Apparently, I don't like. Oh, I, uh, as clearly I a that. huge advocate of Lila Cruz, I'm sure that that's something that you wouldn't have known, Max. So no, absolutely clueless. But either way, new game, new stage, new me, I guess. And uh, here we have Shogun still eating a huge juggle from Esam. Gonna get stuffed on that backer attempt. Looks like nowhere is safe for this man right now. You can tell when a snake goes for an aerial on the stage like that. They might be a little bit desperate. Nair to up smash. One of Pikachu's brand new confirms. Gonna come through, put Esam at a two-stock lead. Yeah, beautiful play so far from Esam. He is just, once he, get, once he gets moving, he is moving. He is not allowing Shogun to really play the game that he wants to. And just these moments where he just kind of pulls back slightly, fires off that Thunder Jaw, and then continues with his tried and true aggressive gameplay. I feel like characters who have these little placement hits, such as Pikachu's forward air or up air, that don't really send you too far, it's so difficult for Snake to get out of disadvantage against them. You don't really have the time to pluck that grenade and go for the trades that you normally would. Yeah, and then of course the down air, as fast as it is, it's a very big commitment, and it's quite a narrow hitbox. Yeah, much better out of shield than as a landing tool, for yes. sure. Shogun gonna find his way to the ground, only to roll straight into a forward smash. Esam working on a three stock here. We see Skull Bash, but this ain't customs, bro. It's not Evo 2015. <laughs> that would have KO'd a lot earlier if it was. Yeah, about 100% earlier. Gonna drop the thunder. Yes, I like that with the B reverse to make sure it didn't even collide with him. Just continues down. Back throw. It's a great grenade saving him in that situation. Got the weak hit of up air. Not gonna close it out. This is looking incredibly bleak for Shogun, and that is it. 2-0 with a three-stock finish coming out from Esam.